Well, like most 11-year-olds, Angel loves the colour pink, princesses and unicorns. But Angel thinks she's nothing like other kids her age and she's desperate to fit in. Moira Kelly has taken Angel under her wing. Both touch the heart of veteran reporter Marty King. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Beautiful Hi, angel. How are you? Good. <laughs> Beautiful girl. You're looking well. Thank you. Hey, good to see you again. You too. This is a miracle that's about to happen. Hey, listen. Yeah. Are you looking forward to your new life? Yes. Yeah, I can't wait to see the new you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dream come true. And this is the tiny tablet that will make it real. The pill we pray will give Angel wings. I'm very excited to start it. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited to get better. Apparently it's just a little, little, tiny, little yeah. tablet like that. Yes. So a tiny tablet with a really big yeah. result for you. Yes. Angel was born with Clove syndrome, a condition so rare that fewer than 200 people are affected worldwide. It's a complex vascular disease that causes horrific growth and swelling. In Angel's case, her feet are so big and so heavy, she can't walk. Moira Kelly is the founder of the Creating Hope Foundation. For decades, she's been the champion of children like Angel, children so desperately sick, the world can't or won't help. Moira found Angel in Pakistan. Well, we're starting to turn the corner. The corner's been crooked for quite a while, but, and we've taken a lot of pathways to get where we are now, but we don't give up on her. None of us have. More than 100 doctor's visits in three countries, multiple major surgeries, and now a lifeline from the Swiss drug company Novartis. This tiny pill costing $100,000 a year is Angel's only hope. The results on other children, simply incredible. After hearing Angel's story, Novartis offered the drug on compassionate grounds. I can't explain what that feels like, you know. Look, there's not a mother in the world that wouldn't do what I did, you know. But it just shows you that nothing's impossible and don't ever give up. I love like that part. We first met Angel in 2017. She was five. Her dream then? I want to get rid of these feet and get new shoes and dance. Remember last time I talked to you, I think it was about six years ago? Yeah. You were just a little kid. <laughs> and you said that all you wanted to do was wear pink shoes. Yes. Do you still want to wear pink shoes? All I really want is now to get better and just um, be normal like other kids. Oh, you just want to be normal. But you, you are normal, but you just got a, a few complications. <laughs> you OK? How much suffering can a little girl endure? Do you know that since Angel was born, she has not spent one day without pain or suffering or some form of medical complication? Just last year, she had a full hysterectomy, aged 10. They had to do that to save her life. I was sort of devastated to think it got to that because I don't think Angel at this age realised the enormity of that. In 2019, Angel was scheduled to have both feet amputated at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. But a last minute phone call devastated Moira. They just said, oh, Moira, we've had a meeting and we just feel that, um, that we won't be able to operate Angel now. We just feel it might be too dangerous. I says, Moira, we look, the best thing for Angel is really to go back to her family around those she, who love her and go to palliative care. It's okay, sweetheart. You were tough, kiddo. You were so tough. You probably realise by now that Moira doesn't take no for an answer. Fired up, she deep dived into medical research on Clove syndrome. At 3 a.m. one morning, she hit the jackpot. A French study showcasing the new drug's success in children like Angel. I swear I've found a miracle, it's something real, something amazing. Moira, as only Moira can, raised $25,000 and took Angel to Paris to meet Professor Gim Kunor, a physician and scientist who specialises in diseases like cloves. I finally just said to him, oh, listen, Khan, I said, I've got a really good idea. I said, I can just bring her to Paris. I can just pop in there, it's not a problem. <laughs> I didn't know how the hell I was going to get the money. 
how I was going to get a kid from Pakistan to Australia with the visa going to Pakistan, going to France. But sometimes in life, you've got to keep it all positive. If you start giving negative, it's so easy for human nature to sway there. So you've got to keep it all upbeat. After assessing Angel, the French specialist recommended she join a clinical trial, and Novartis agreed. Guess what, beautiful? They're pink, just for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was just gobsmacked, just blown away. We're really, really hoping as a team that this drug will shrink her feet down and give her back her ability to walk. Dr Luke Sammartino is Angel's paediatrician in Melbourne. I'd love to see Angel achieve two things. Um, she told me once that she wants to dance. And secondly, I'd like to see her outlive me by many, many years. What's the most important thing for you? Is to save Angel's life, really. Yeah, sorry. I really love her and I'm just happy that she's done all this just for me and brought me to it straight here and been to the doctors and starting this medicine. Moira is an inspiration. The word can't or cannot just doesn't exist in her vocabulary. And she truly is our Mother Teresa and she's hooked up with an angel. Lovely to meet you, Angel. Mm. I'll be doing your scan today. Angel might be a veteran of surgery, but these tests are no less scary. Unbelievable never complains, never, ever complains, still smiles. It's your way ahead of me. She may be tiny and vulnerable, but break out a board game, and Angel is a demon. The game's called Trouble, Marty, and I think you're in trouble. I think you might be right. One more go. <laughs> All right, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, another high five. Wow, that smile. Heart and Angel will start taking her medication in the next few weeks. We'll keep you updated on her progress.